So guys, on the subject of battery safety, um, I'm just going to give you a few tips. Uh, I, I'm probably teaching grandma to suck eggs or whatever the phrase is, uh, but may, maybe someone doesn't know it. You know, maybe someone doesn't already use these tips. This is a 6200 milliamp 3S. This stores an enormous amount of 11 volt uh, electricity um, that will try to get out very very quickly if it gets a chance um, so if something went wrong while charging it or maybe one of the leads shorted out or there was an internal short within the pack because of abuse these do get a lot of abuse this one's got a little split but it's just on the outer there um, yeah, not, not good. You could burn your whole house down, you know, you could end up hurting, you know, family members or, or neighbours or something because of a fire, and that's not what we're here to do. Um, so the first thing, this is slate. It's like a, a bathroom slate, uh, which I use for uh, photography. I use it for these videos, but I, it's also where I charge my batteries. Guys, I... I um, I bring my charger onto here and I charge on here and what I also do for belt and braces is I use a, a battery charging pouch as well which at the moment is, is full of batteries which isn't ideal but that's what I, I do guys so if you don't don't take any risks uh with with batteries guys they are extremely powerful these days and they will let out like an almost atomic amount of power in a very very short space of time which manifests itself as a huge fireball i'm sure you've all seen it so get yourself something to charge on um my battery storage device is an old metal filing cabinet or you can use ammunition boxes and keep them away from other combustible stuff like don't put them next to your paint tins uh, and like, all your oils and stuff like that. So this is just a little quick tip on on battery safety, guys. I hope you didn't mind this video. I'm sure a lot of you know this already. Uh, there's a lot of you out there that are far, far more knowledgeable than me. I just wanted to be the guy that, you know, that talked about the thing that maybe saved someone a huge house fire. Um, that's it for this one, guys. Remember, no matter the question, love is always the answer.